What happens next? Is, is a complete breakdown of our educational system a possibility here? Well, well, of course, I mean, you've already basically got it. Uh, uh, you know, you see things like the mm -hmm. University of Chicago uh, English Department saying they're only going to take people next year who are doing black studies. Uh, and by the way, everything has studies after it. There's no such thing. Women's studies, no such thing. It's not a study. Queer studies, no such thing. It's not a study. If you have to call it a study, it's not a study. It's like having to call yourself a democratic people's republic. If you have to say it, you're not. Uh, <laughs> but they say they're only going to take people doing black studies next year in the English Department. The English Department of Chicago says that uh, English studies, English uh, as a language, as a study, as a literature, is based in colonialism and depression. So they've just abolished themselves. Institution after institution abolishes itself in America. And here's the problem. It comes to a fundamental issue in the country, which is that white America has been bullied by people. It it, uh, there are so many things that we could address and unite over. And currently, people are being listened, they're listening to and being bullied by totally insincere actors. When somebody says everything about you and your past is rotten, don't believe them. If they say that you are intrinsically racist and you're racist if you say you're not a racist and you are racist if you say you are a racist, don't listen to them. These are dishonest people. And it's time, and I'm very glad to see this latest investigation, as I say, into Princeton, it's time that people called out the bullies and the frauds and the racketeers. That's what's going on. Because, after all, this is a very important point, it's so much easier to talk about your endemic racism than it is to deal with serious sociological so issues true. in society. It's so much easier just to say we're all guilty than it is to improve educational standards. America has been taken in by hucksters of late. And it is high time that people of every skin colour unite and say, no, we are Americans and we will not give in to your division. Vision. Here, here. The book is The Madness of Crowds. If you love what you heard, you get more of it there. Douglas Murray, you are welcome on this program anytime. Thank you for your insight and your wisdom. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Wow.